The Hong Kong project um, was in Hollywood Road in Sheng Wan, 226 Hollywood Road, and it was a small development of five apartments and um, retail on the ground floor. And within the apartments, you know, we really started from the point of view of the life. It was a ground up project. So thinking about how you could occupy that space as an individual or if you had loads of people over and it would work for both. What was so interesting was the consequence of that was a place that looked incredibly different to any of the other projects in Hong Kong and felt very domestic. I mean, ultimately, I think in order to inhabit space, it has to have a sense of home. And that's not just if it is a home. I think almost any project has to have that sense that you can feel at home in it, which is a very different sensibility to making it um, domestic. That's not the same thing. In Swedish, you say bestjala, to put soul into a place. In um, Danish, you talk about hukli, the idea of a place that is an embrace. And I think you can do that, for example, even in an office. Um, you know, it's not about having sort of sweet sofas everywhere, but it is about looking at the things that you do every day um, and making them um, work on a human scale. You know, having a really great kitchen, making the photocopy room fantastic, um, having the possibility of, let's say, having kind of movable shelving around you where you can put your objects and where if you want to in some way sort of circle the wagons you can, but still have a sense of being connected to others. Um, it's thinking about an office so that, for example, there aren't obvious rooms where you get dragged off to for sort of dodgy meetings. You know, it's working out, if you like, the um, politics, the organisation really of how you have conversations. It is, for example, having um, a common room rather than lots and lots of dodgy meeting rooms with, you know, sort of conference tables which are automatically rather confrontational. Um, obviously you have to balance that with practical needs but I think historically the sort of tectonic, the practical, the functional has ended up driving the wagon and you've just got things the wrong way around. I mean ultimately it should be driven by the life and the practical stuff should be what makes that happen not the other way around. <laughs>